Hey Leo, welcome, welcome guys. I hope you're having a great day and thank you so much for joining me today for this tarot read. So I wanted to do something a little bit different today. I know we all have dreams and we all have goals. I wanted to use tarot today to sort of help you guys to get to where you want to be in life. I do have these manifestation oracle cards that we're going to use today. And these are going to tell you what's most relevant on your journey towards manifesting your dreams. We're going to let uh, the powers that be, the universe and spirit and the higher power pick cards for you uh, that are going to help you on your way. What you need to hear most. So go ahead, guys. Do your worst. Uh, let's see what we got for Leo today. What does Leo need to hear? And I can feel them starting to jump around. So we're getting close. That one for sure. That was your card. That wanted to pop out. So we have trust the universe. Interesting. So this is all about having faith. Having faith that everything happens for a reason uh, and that we will get to where we need to go in the end. As long as we do our part, the powers that be will do theirs to help us on our journey. I also have know your worth. So having confidence in yourself, believing in yourself on this journey is going to be a big part for you as well in finding your way to success. I do have relax. So there might be a need to de-stress here as well and not worry so much about the details. This would definitely tie into trust the universe though, guys. Uh, not feeling like you have to have a death grip on the entire journey. Having that trust that, that things will play out the way that they're meant to. I also have speak your world into being interesting. This is a great card. Guys, this card is all about focusing on what it is that you truly want in life, what this dream is, what this thing is that you want to manifest, and then saying it out loud. Maybe coming up with a mantra, hell, even write it down on a piece of paper. Make it good and clear for the universe exactly what it is you want so it can help uh, to bring these opportunities forward to help you on your journey, to help you on your way, to help you achieve whatever this is that you're wanting. I also have attend to the details. And this is all about planning too. This is about doing your part. That's what this card is talking about, uh, doing your part. So speaking your world into being is also doing your part. It, it does what you need to do on your end to allow the universe to understand what you want and then bring opportunity forward. And as long as you're attending to the details, you're actively working towards your goal, you're doing your half of things. I also have the Three of Pentacles, interesting. So once you're doing this, speak your world into being, uh, once you're actively taking steps towards this goal, the universe is going to step up and start bringing you opportunity. And that's what the Three of Pentacles is saying. It's starting to see the fruits of your labor. I also have the Ten of Cups. So this is what you're after. This is what the card represents. It's like a happily ever after card. Uh, that's what it's representative of. So whatever this is in your life, this goal, this is what the Ten of Cups is representing in your read. I also have the Eight of Swords, which can represent feeling trapped or stuck in negative emotions or thoughts so much so that you have trouble finding clarity. I see clarity in this card. There's a need to be clear. There's a need to be clear about what your goal is and it's tied to the know your worth as well and being confident in yourself, not allowing any fears or insecurities to hold you back on this journey. I have the Knight of Cups, which represents an emotional victory. This is tied to know your worth as well. I look at Knight of Cups and I get pulled to know your worth. So being able to recognize who you are as a person, all the wonderful qualities and talents that you have and, and recognizing, like the card says, your worth and accepting that and believing that is going to be an emotional victory. It's going to give you a confidence and an empowerment to move forward. I also have the Three of Swords. So the Three of Swords can represent heartbreak. It can represent separation. This might be part of what's going on. This might be part of where this know your worth is coming from. Uh, maybe a relationship that came to an end uh, that definitely took a hit on your self-esteem. So being able to heal from that heartbreak, being able to recognize that you are a good person, you are worth loving, you are worth attaining your goals, uh, being able to to believe all those beautiful things about yourself and believe in yourself is going to help you in moving forward. I have the Five of Swords, so the Five of Swords can represent selfish or short one victories, victories at the cost of others. This is tied to know your worth too, and it's tied to not allowing those insecurities to screw you out of opportunity for the future and screw you out of your goals. This is what this card is speaking to in this read. I have the Emperor here. So the Emperor represents success. He's the epitome of success. He's everything that you're wanting uh, for success. He's everything. He's not a thing. 
He's you. He represents you as your most successful self. That's what he's speaking to in this read because I kept getting the word success, but I kept getting that he was a person as well. He is you. He is your vision of you at your most successful point and what that dream is and what that goal is. Having him show up in your read like that says that this is something that you can attain for yourself. I do have the Hermit card. This Hermit card represents introspection. It represents a time for reflection. This is taking time for the Know Your Worth card. This is taking time to the attend to details, uh, to think this plan out for yourself and to believe in yourself. I also have the Nine of Wands, which represents a journey over time. So this, this journey might be a long time coming as well but it's not going to be an overnight journey as well. Definitely that three of pentacles says that you're going to have opportunity coming your way once you start doing your work, but it doesn't mean you're going to get to this ten of cups overnight. You're going to work your way towards this ten of cups, but as long as you're doing your part, the universe is going to step up and do hers. Alrighty guys, that is what the card said to me today. I hope you found value in the read and thank you guys again so much for tuning in. I hope you have a great rest of your day, Leo. Take care.